Hi scholars, so today we're completing module two, lesson five. Before we get started, I want to review the previous lesson, lesson four on elapsed time. So let's take a look at this problem. Jenna and her mom take the bus to the mall. The, clock, the clocks below show when they leave their house and when they arrive at the mall. How many minutes does it take them to get to the mall? I'm gonna read that again and annotate it. Jenna and her mom take the bus to the mall. The clocks below show when they leave their house and when they arrive at the mall. How many minutes does it take them to get to the mall? So go ahead and use the times below to figure out how long it takes them to get to the mall if they arrive at this time, if they leave their house at this time and arrive at the time shown on the second clock. So pause the video now, solve, and then when you get back, we'll check our work together. All right, welcome back. So on this first clock, I see that it is three o'clock. I'm gonna check the time, the minutes exactly. So five, 10, 15, 20. This would be 21, 22, 23. So it is 3, 23. When they leave their house, they arrive at the mall. I see it's almost four o'clock and I know it's almost four o'clock because at 12, the minute hand is not pointing directly at the 12. So I know it's one minute before four o'clock. So that means it is 3, 59. And I'll double check by skip counting. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So it is 359. So from 329 to 359, how much time did it take them to get to the mall? So I can use this clock. And I want to see how much time has elapsed from here to where the minute hand is showing on this one. So I'll start here. Well, this would be two minutes to get from 323 to 325. And to get from here, that's five. Another 10 minutes. 15 minutes so far, plus the two, we'll count that at the end. Another five would be 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and then plus one, two, three, four, because it stopped at um, 59. So if I add these minutes up together, so I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34 plus two more would be 36, so 36 minutes. It takes them 36 minutes to get to the mall. I hope that's what you had, and if you use the number line, you should still get the same answer. If you have any questions about how I use the clock to figure this out instead of a number line, you can always message me. So let's get into today's lesson. Thoughtful mathematicians solve word problems involving time intervals within one hour by adding or subtracting on a number line. So we know an analog clock tells the time using the minutes and hour hands. Elapsed time is how much time has passed over a course of time, not to sound redundant. redundant. PM are the afternoon and evening hours from 12 noon to 12 midnight. And AM are the opposite, the morning hours between midnight to 12 noon. So just to refresh your memory, you can pause and reread this flow map on how to calculate elapsed time. When you're ready, you can press play. So again, pause if you want to refresh your memory on this and just to kind of remember exactly how we use a number line to tell elapsed time. All right, so I'm going to solve this one and you should be watching. Abby spent 22 minutes working on her science project yesterday and 34 minutes working on it today. So 22 minutes yesterday, 34 minutes today. How many minutes did Abby spend working on her science project all together? So I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. So I know she spent 22 minutes already, so I'm gonna label this 22. 
and I want to add another 34 minutes to see how much time it is all together because the combining two times it says all together both times combined so instead of just adding 34 I'm gonna add intervals or increments so that way I don't have to add so much at the same time so I can do plus 5 that would give me 27 actually you know what to make it even easier I'm gonna do plus That'll get me to 30. So I've done 8 so far. I'm going to add 10 more now. Plus 10. I'm at 40. So we've added 18 so far. I want to add 34. So I'm going to keep going. Add another 10. So we've added 20 so far. 28. So 28. Now I'm going to go to 34. So if I add another 10, that's going to be too much. That'll be 38 minutes. I only want 34 minutes. So 28. So let me see. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's 6 minutes. So I'm just going to add 6 minutes now. 6. So I get to 56. So I'm just going to make sure I added 34 minutes. So 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus the 8 minutes that I added is 28. And then 28 plus 6 more minutes. Well, 6 plus 8 is 14, 34. So 34 minutes. So 22 plus 34 minutes is 56 minutes. She spent... 56 minutes working on her science project. So I said I would show you two ways to do this. The other option is to just add those two minutes using standard algorithm because it says I want them all together so I can add the two minutes instead of using a number line. So 2 plus 4 is 6. And 3 plus 2 is 5, so I still get 56 as my answer. So whichever strategy works best for you, again, I always show you more than one because you may not like the first one that I show you. And if you do like the first one, then you can stick to that. It's always what works best for you, not about what you think should be done. It's really about what works for you because we want to make sure that it makes sense. So we're going to do this one together. So if you don't already have a paper and pencil to follow along and solve with me, please grab that and have it on hand. So you can pause the video if you need to gather your materials. All right, Peter practices violin for a total of 55 minutes over the weekend. He practices 25 minutes on Saturday. How many minutes does he practice on Sunday? So for this specific problem, they're counting the weekend as just Saturday and Sunday, not including Friday. So we know he practiced a total of 55 minutes and then he practices 25 on Saturday but we don't know Sunday so you know what instead of using a number line or addition or subtraction I'm gonna use a tape diagram we know that the total is 55 so go ahead and copy this 55 minutes we know that one part is 25 minutes that one part is Saturday. We don't know Sunday. So we're trying to figure this out. So we know the whole and we know the part. How do we figure out the other missing part? What operation would we use? So I hope you said subtraction because that is in fact the other operation. And when I know the whole, and I don't know one of the parts, I can use the part that I do know to subtract and find the difference. So once I take away this 25 from the 55, I'll be left with what is Sunday or what is left over. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 minus 2 is 3. So Peter practices... for 
20, oops, sorry, 30 minutes on Sunday because we subtracted 55 minus 25 to find out what's left over. So I take away sun Saturday from the weekend, I'm left with Sunday's total. And again, you can use a tape diagram or you can just use the standard algorithm, whatever works for you. And I use the tape diagram to help me figure out what operation would work best. So that's another option as well. So I want you to go ahead and solve this one. So let's read an analogy together and then I want you to solve it on your own. Marcus wants to watch a movie that starts at 2.55 p.m. It takes 10 minutes to drive to the theater. If Marcus starts the yard work at 2 p.m., can he make it on time for the movie? Forgot to put one important part. His yard work takes him 20 So if it takes him 20 minutes to complete the yard work, can he start at 2 and still make it to the movies at 2.55 if it takes him 10 minutes to get to the theater from his house? So go ahead and pause the video now and then press play when you're ready to check your work. Again, pause now, press play when you're ready. All right, so one very important piece of information that I added towards the end, so I forgot to type that in, is that he takes 20 minutes to complete the yard work. You need to know that in order to know how long it'll take him to do the yard work and drive all together. So I'll use the tape, the number line for this one. I know he's trying to get there at 2.55. That's his goal. No later than that, because that's when the movie starts. And he's saying he'll start working at 2 p.m. So the yard works take some 20 minutes, so plus 20, that'll mean he'll be done with the yard work at 220. Then he'll have another 10 minutes that he'll need to use to drive to the theater, and he'll be there at 230 according to this. So he'll have some time to spare before the movie starts. So he'll have from 2.30 to 2.55 to be able to buy popcorn or whatever he needs to do. So he, def excuse me, he definitely can make it to the movie if he starts at 2 p.m. And I know this because he'll arrive at 2.30 and that's earlier than 2.55. So they explain your reasoning. Let me write that down. Yes, he can make it on time for the movie because he'll arrive before 2.55 p.m. So that's how I know he'll make it on time because he'll get there early, er, and obviously if you're early, you are definitely on time. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize for the mistake. I hope it still made sense after I added it afterwards. If anything was confusing, please reach out to me on Schoology or Hangouts before you complete the problem set. I want you to be fully aware and have a better understanding of how to solve before you complete the problem set. Right. Thanks again, guys. Bye.